Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the Cheltenham Festival. As difficult as ever, as complex and as exciting. And we kick off with the Neptune Novices Hurdle, allegedly the Yanworth Benefit Stakes. Alan King, they've always thought the world of this horse. His performance here last time was staggering. He's amazingly short though. And I'm very much with Bello Conti each way of Willie Mullins's. I backed it last week. It worked really, really well on the Curra last Wednesday. And that's the one for me in the opener. Bello Conti each way. They've been thinking of the Albert Bartlett, so it'll stay every foot of this two and a half. And that's the one for the opener. Now, the Coral Cup. Difficult as ever. Usually I've got lots of plots and wheezes for this. Nothing complex about it this time in the sense that there's a straightforward sort of pro percentage play and that's rock the Casbar each way of Philip Hobbs's. Um, on the rest of the card, the RSA, more of that. Everyone's very keen on that for John Joe. I think they'd have liked to have had another run into him. John Joe's horses, they come back to form here, but they haven't exactly been burning up the Cotswolds in recent weeks. And I'm very much with Gordon Elliott's No More Heroes. This has always been the plan for this horse. He's an absolute thorough stayer. He's pleased in his preparation. They're very happy with him. And I think No More Heroes, and I think he'll be backed very much this afternoon. The two mile champion chase. Well, the heart says Sprinter Sacre, and there are extraordinary noises from Lambourne that he's something like back to his best without being that almost bizarrely brilliant horse of old. The heart says Sprinter Sacre, the head says Anders Sometimes here, the heart wins.